Hello and welcome to the Street Crime UK YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Today we look at a London taxi driver who has been jailed for more than 11 years after ferrying kilo blocks of cocaine to dealers in his cab. Craig Roos claimed he only started drug dealing because of the pandemic but within four days of the first lockdown last year he was found running a stock room with four kilograms of cocaine in it. The 40 year old and accomplices Robert Wiggins 43 and Kevin Ryan 45 were given lengthy prison sentences after their arrest in Operation Venetic, one of the UK's largest crackdowns on organised crime. Hundreds of suspected crime bosses were arrested last summer when military grade encrypted communication system EncroChat was hacked by multiple police teams across the world. It revealed a criminal underworld used by a hitman, cocaine dealers and people traffickers across Europe. The court heard dad of four, Mr. Roos, imported pure cocaine from Colombia and paid Mr. Wiggins £500 to mix each block with creatine and benzocaine before pressing the cut cocaine into kilo weight brick. Mr. Roos then delivered the press blocks, featuring a distinctive AK-47 automatic rifle design to dealers around London from his black cap. Police seized £65,000 in cash, expensive branded clothes, Rolex watches and one kilogram block of the cutting agent creatine at Mr. Rouse's Buckinghamshire home after his arrest. At Southport Crown Court, the gang admitted conspiring to supply Class A drugs. Mr. Wiggins, a father of one who runs an auto firm in Notting Hill, also admitted illegally possessing a heckler and a Koch 9mm pistol along with 30 rounds of ammunition which he kept in a safe at work. Mr. Rouse was jailed for 11 years and 3 months while Mr. Wiggins was sentenced to 9 years and 4 months. Ryan was locked up for 7 years. Prosecuting James Thacker told the court, Mr. Rouse sits very high at the top of the tree. He has a greater role than the other defendants. Mr. Rouse organised the buying and selling of commercial quantities of cocaine, predominantly in kilo blocks, but there were other quantities. He was arrested at his house, a property valued at £800,000, with no indication of how he was funding that lifestyle. The prosecutor added, Mr. Rouse claims he only commences his drug dealing enterprise as a result of the pandemic. The EncroChat material starts on March 27th and lockdown happened on March 23rd. In a message, Mr. Wiggins states, I put them four bits, blocks, into stock. There is a stock room and they are talking about four kilograms of cocaine. One does not go from no experience of drug dealing to four kilograms and a stock room within the span of a few days of lockdown. Jeremy Rosenberg, defending Mr. Wiggins, said that he started working with Mr. Rouse due to financial problems providing his disabled wife and young son. Mr. Rosenberg said, although he ran a legitimate business, it wasn't enough to look after his family. He was living hand to mouth and that is why he entered this enterprise. He is extremely sorry for what he has done to his family. This was not just a job, it was causes real suffering to the community. Addressing Mr. Roos, Judge Christopher Heyer said, your father abused drugs in your childhood, which make it so inexplicable why you entered this trade. Craig Rouse, you're in the most serious position. I can't accept that it was just the beginning of lockdown that brought you to this activity. There is no way that you got into this sophisticated activity within just a few days. You are obviously capable of far better than this. Mr. Rouse of Brook Street, Aylesbury, Buckinghamshire, Mr. Wiggins of Longlands Court, Notting Hill, and Ryan of Westbourne Park Villas, Bayswater admitted conspiracy to supply Class A drugs. Mr. Wiggins also admitted one count of possessing a prohibited firearm and one of illegally possessing ammunition. So what are your thoughts about Craig Roos and his accomplices going from everyday working class men to high profile drug dealers after hitting hard times? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for joining us and until next time, stay safe.